Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers. And today I'm looking at a mod that is a replica, apparently, of the uh, the Nurburgring race course, which uh, I'm not somebody that watches racing. So if you guys are familiar, you're going to have to tell me how accurate this thing really is but this is probably one of the biggest race courses and this probably is the biggest race course in trail makers right now that you can actually drive um and it goes all the way around way out there and circles all the way back over here so what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to race this race course with a variety of cars um because the amount of time it's going to take just to do one lap is going to be ridiculous so i figured we'll just we'll use a bunch of cars and see how they all handle on this race course this uh, course was made by macau x-blade and just 2005 they say a lot of work has been put into this and they hope that we enjoy the track so let's go ahead and enjoy this so i went in the workshop and sorted by most popular cars in the past few months and that's what we're going to be using for this episode so we're going to start off with this thing this is a nissan 2040z by these are all untested cars so we're just going to go ahead and start the race off with this one i i'm ready i I'm ready. I'm ready for the race. Can you... What? What's happened? Why? <laughs> Hello, I'm ready. It says get ready, but I'm, re I'm... I've already gotten ready. What's wrong with the... Oh, start race. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, we're going. Racing is go. All right, it's actually timing me now. <laughs> this car... This is not the fastest car. This car looks faster than it is. Oh, no. And the handling. <laughs> okay. Maybe this isn't the right type of car <laughs> for this race. You know, let's give it a little bit more. Let's give it a chance. Maybe I can get control here. Maybe it's just user error. <laughs> this is why I got a variety of cars. So that way um, we can we can die. We can zero in on what the best car is to use for this. That was kind of cool. Not intentional, but OK, now we're just in a feedback loop. OK, this is bad. All right. Time to use a new car. So how about a Ford F-150 by Magic Mama 47 here? As you can tell, I'm not really that concerned with uh, my race time. <laughs> also not the fastest. You know, I kind of figured that a pickup truck wouldn't be the fastest, but it was a cool looking pickup truck. Look at this thing. This thing actually is cool. Oh, it's got some uh, beefy suspension under there as well. All right, I should probably be watching where I'm going, huh? At least this one, it feels a lot... It's a lot more controllable. I mean, the slower you go, usually the easier it is to control yourself. But uh, definitely not the fastest car for racing on a race course. But for the uh, for these windy parts, it's probably a little bit better than a super fast hypercar or something. And I think I do have a super fast hypercar to uh, test out on this. All right, we got a, a little bit of a straightaway here. Let's go on to another car. Where's he? We got a zero win on a good car here. All right. This, oh, this one's actually by Macau X-Blade. So I'm going to save that one because I feel like Macau, the person who built this course, probably has cars that are better suited to it. All right. Let's get away from some of the, some of the ridiculous ones. Let's try this Indy high-tech performance car by Cyrex. It's not going to like lower our grip. Whoa. Whoa. There's some craziness. This is a cool car. Okay. It's got some crazy active arrow going on. Look at that. All right, there we go. Oh boy, getting a little bit of air. Whoa, what happened there? My tail just fell off. All right, let's keep going. Let's try this again. I really want to see this car shine. I feel like the... What? All right, we're back. Let's try not to sonic boom ourselves up. Yeah, I had more hope for this car. It just doesn't seem to be built for this course, I guess. Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We just gotta... Oh, yeah, here we go. Here, what? Now everything's so smooth all of a sudden. Uh oh, uh oh, of course, as soon as I say it. As soon as I say... All right, we, we don't need front wheels, right? We don't... We don't need... We don't need engines. Okay, let's, uh, let's move on to a different build. That is an awesome car. But uh, it is not very effective on this course, apparently. All right, how about this retro F1 car by Dr. Obser Observation? Maybe uh, maybe a lower tech F1 car might be better suited. Oh, boy. Got to get used to the turning. Oh, boy. The turning is sensitive on this one. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, man. Having, like, that's one of the things I've noticed is really difficult with trail makers is uh, this getting a really nice and intuitive steering programming. 
um, it's really easy to oversteer and understeer. And this one, this one in particular, is very susceptible to oversteering. Yeah, I'm just tapping. I've, I've just been tapping the steering, and it seems way, way too sensitive for some reason. We're very, very slowly making progress <laughs> on this massive race course. How long is it going to take us to complete this race course? Oh, come on. All right, let's move on to another car. We haven't dialed in quite into the most effective car. How about this? We're going to do uh, Lamborghini Gallardo by Minhaka. All right, this one's probably going to be slower since it's using the bigger wheels, but let's see here. All right, we got some. Let's let's get used to, used to our controls. We got some lights. What does number one do? All right, number one just starts us going. What is left shift? What? What was that? Left shift is uh, remove your back right wheel button, apparently. Oh, it's an emergency brake. Okay. All right, we're not going to be using that. All right, and then space. Oh, yeah, we got a boost and everything. All right. This is as sharp as I can steer. All right, come on, let's go. <laughs> Seeing the thrusts, ex like the, the thrust smoke coming out of the back of this thing and how fast we aren't going as a result is kind of amusing. Did I already lose a wheel? I already lost a wheel. All right, I gotta start taking this race a little bit more seriously here. We're already six minutes in, and I haven't, I feel like I haven't gotten anywhere. This one so far seems a little bit more doable. I feel kind of like a race car, but I'm just not going as fast as I wanna go. Wow, look at that steering. This thing steers like a pickup truck. All right, let's just get around a couple more turns. Does this course just hate me? Is that what's going on here? All right, you know, if a Lamborghini won't, won't do it, how about a Nissan GTR Japanese police car by Beef? You know, after all these uh, accidents on the road here, we're gonna need some uh, some police backup to come and do some traffic control so that nobody gets hurt. Oh no, this isn't looking good. These are massive wheels. Okay, there we go. We're on top of, get on top of the road, please. Is there, um, <laughs> is there a problem with this race course? <laughs> what is going on here? All right, come on, just drive. Drive across the race course. There we go. All right, just stick. Yeah, see the wheels? These wheels, these wheels don't seem to be doing very well. What does O do? Oh, does that. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's move on to, uh, we, we need to apparently learn how to drive. So let's hop on the school bus by Cooksanoan. All right, this one's got a bunch of controls here. Let's see what, what this thing does. All right, we got blinkers. That's a, that is a long blinker. Yeah, we got two different blinkers. We got our lights. We got, oh, look at that door. That door is pretty nice. Oh, we can open up the hood. Nice engine looking in the hood. I can't tell what space does, but I just noticed, look, there's a fan. A propeller in the front of the engine there that looks really awesome. This is really cool. All right, let's actually drive this thing, see how fast it goes. Here we go. All right, nice cruising speed so far. <laughs> and of course, it is really, really top heavy. This is racing. This, this is not racing. This is just driving. How about this one? Speed Ghost by Mr. Green 5379. All right, this thing looks like it's going to be dangerous, but it has the smaller wheels. It honestly seems like the smaller wheels are better fit for this type of course. Look at this. Now we're racing. Oh, yeah. Now we're racing. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> that was user error. That was definitely user error. I should have slowed down going into that turn a little bit, but I was just so excited by the existence of speed. All right. Here we go. Now we're taking it seriously. Got to actually control our speed for some of these turns. I don't know what the turning radius... Oh, slow down. Okay. Turning radius is not great. Well, don't worry. I can get used to this car. This is our most promising car yet. We're not getting instantly destroyed just by driving. We're, we actually have speed. We can turn without completely losing control. See, I don't even know. The thing is, I don't even know how far on this course I've gotten. All right, here we go. We got a straightaway. Let's go ahead and pick up some speed. Yeah. All right, now let's slow down for these turns. Okay. I actually kind of managed to do that one successfully. Yes. Turn. 
Stuff like that is happening a lot more than I would expect it to. All right, so now I got a hyper car by TD Kwong 1227. So this thing looks really intense. All right, so let's see how this one does. I don't know what the steer... I think the big thing with the hypercars is going to be the steering radius. Because when you're going really fast, you just can't steer that much. Uh, this thing... I mean, it's handling these turns so far. I am not giving it as much throttle as I could, though. I'm being really conservative with my speed. I'm waiting for a nice straightaway to really gas it here. Okay, slow down. You know what? I think this is one of the big problems. You see these inclines? I think the cars are having a lot of issues with these, these, uh, like, slats for the changes in incline. Because on the flat roads, it's great, but here we go. We got another incline here. Yeah, that's a big problem. Okay. Hey, place your bets now. Uh, what time is our racing time going to be over in the right-hand side there? We're at 12 and a half minutes now. What time do you think it's going to be uh, by the time we get back to the beginning of the course? I'm thinking, I feel like it's going to be like 30 minutes at this rate. <laughs> oh, oh, what's this? Oh, here we go. Here's a straightaway. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. All right, how fast are we going to be able to go with this thing? Are we going to disintegrate ourselves? I hope not. All right, 355. Three, we're kind of like, yeah, we're kind of getting the, uh, the limits right here around 360. All right, hold on a second here. Let's slow down while we still have straightaway. There's, uh, I want to try Macau's car now. We got this thing right here. This is the to Toyota GT1 black model. Oh, this one doesn't have any boost. This one just drives straight. All right. Man, it's still really fast even without the boost. It's coming up on 300. See, now I kind of want turns to see how this car actually handles on a race course. This is a cool looking car. All right, here we go. We got some turns coming up now. Let's see how this car handles. I'm just going to turn at max speed here. Okay, that wasn't as much of a turn as I thought it was going to be. The graphics are so good. Look at those trees. Trees whizzing by in our peripherals. You know, I feel like this course is definitely better suited for um, for first person. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah, turn, 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 turn. Man, the turning radius is definitely a little low. There we go. And I think we've waited back to the beginning, and this is the pit stop right here. So we just... We just came in for a nice pit stop, get our wheels changed. All right, still, man, the turning on this course is so difficult. Even with this car right here, like, I'm turning as much as I can right now. All right, now that we've gotten a chance to look at a bunch of cool cars and gotten through the race course, I've downloaded some by the creator, Mikal, of uh, this race course. And these ones have different performance ratings that, uh, these are the high performance ratings ones. So we've got some four stars and five star performance ratings. Apparently the five stars use, like, gimbal in thrusters and stuff to aid with steering so let's start with some four star ones this is the chaparral i'm probably just pronouncing this wrong but this is the the chaparral 2j so let's see how this one feels oh my god it is so fast oh my it is really 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 fast that is crazy it does it does turn pretty well if you're not going max speed look at that this thing yeah this thing is so much easier to drive on this horse whoa this is a really well-made car. Look at that. That's so good. I can't believe the difference. All right, let's check out one of the other. I think I downloaded two four stars and two five stars. Okay, so this one is the Jaguar XJR9. Well, this one looks really nice. Let's try this one out. Yeah, this is a good car. All right, I can't wait to see what the five star ones are like. Oh boy, man, getting off the course at all is like a death sentence. Okay, now let's try one of these five-star ones. We've got uh, the Ferrari F2007, and we got the Formula Gran Turismo, and let's try the Ferrari one first. All right, here we go. Oh, boy, this definitely feels fast. Okay. I mean, we don't have... We haven't tested out a sharp turn yet. I don't know what the handling's like. It feels... Oh, my goodness. Whoa, I hadn't even... I don't even have to let off the throttle. Oh, I've got to let the throttle a little bit there, but wow, it is such a sharp turning car man how do you get to have so much grip while it's turning like that it's crazy it's almost like it's it's hard to get used to how much grip this car has i keep oversteering because i'm expecting it to take longer to turn i don't even have time to react to the turning and this thing is getting up and down the the hills with those slats like no nope. like look at that all the other cars were totally getting destroyed these cars are so good there we go that's what i'm talking about this is a nice car this is a really well-tuned car. 
I just have trouble um, releasing the steering in time because there's like there's a little like split second delay between when I let go of the button to when I actually stop steering. This is so crazy how the difference between this car and the other cars we're using. I can't even imagine one better than this, but there is one other car. It's also a five star rating. Oh boy, that was a sharp turn. Wow. Okay, let's try this other car. This was the uh, the Formula Gran Turismo. Let's see if this one feels any different. I have a feeling that this is probably going to be very, very similar. I mean, they're both made by the same person. They're both made with the same performance rating. So they're probably uh, very similar in performance. And yet, so far, it doesn't really feel much better or worse. Actually, I don't know. That was amazing right there, wasn't it? Well, man, I'm kind of glad I started with those other just random cars that were not built for this course because... It makes me appreciate how finely tuned these cars are for this course. Like, just the performance of these, you could just see such a huge difference in just my ability to drive it. You know, going off the road is, it's okay. As long as you don't crash, you can always get back on the road, right? This is so cool. I need to know, I need to look at this car. How, like, how is this steering so well when the other ones are just so bad at it yeah there's gimbal jets in here but i don't know how they're programmed so i can't tell what purpose they're serving because a gimbal jet a gimbal jet is only going to give upwards uh thrust so why does that why does why would that help wouldn't you want downwards thrusts let me know if you guys have any ideas down in the comments below about how uh how gimbal jets could help with steering like this because like i said the gimbal jets they only give thrust in the in the direction against gravity Whoa, okay. <laughs> All right, well, I had my first major crash with one of those cars. Man, that is awesome. I really, really like these cars. These cars are really fun on this course. Well, uh, this is definitely, if you guys have trailmakers and want to play this course, I'll leave a link to this course down in the uh, description. And uh, there's a whole, there's a link to a whole pack of these cars that are made for this course like this uh, in the description of the course itself. So if you guys, oh, we're going to get, whoa, man, did you see that? We got, I thought we were going to get air off of that, but uh, we just held right to the ground. All right, but like I said, I'll leave a link down in the description. It does take a lot to load this course. Make sure you read the description of the course if you're going to try to load it in. Uh, it's going to take some time to do that because there's a lot of stuff on this course. If you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, you'll probably enjoy some more stuff you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.